hello there. I did it again. Yeah, it's two days in a row. I got a hello there. Ow. All right. <laughs> That's amazing. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a magical Monday. It is Monday. One, two, three. I'm just kidding. It's Wednesday. See, I already made your day because now you're like, oh, I just gained two days. I'm happy because I thought it was Monday. He fooled us. It's not Monday. It's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, everyone. <laughs> I hope you're having a magical start to your day, and if you're not, let's let's help you out in that department and try to make it a little more magical for you and start your day off right by talking some Dreamlight Valley and some games and some Christmas. Oh, Christmas is almost upon us. We are one week away from the first day of winter, and oh, it feels it up here in the northeast. It is cold. We've got snow. We're supposed to get more snow this weekend, so it's just, it, yeah, it's a winter wonderland right now. I see some other states are having some um, inclement weather as well. Uh, the west is getting some snow. Uh, <laughs> south is getting rain. So it is just that season, everyone. So I hope you're uh, prepared for it. You have your, you know, your winter coats and your galoshes if you're in the south for rain i don't know why they ever call them galoshes my grandmother used to say that galoshes get your galoshes on uh, i was like what's a gal it sounds like something you eat for dinner i said like, like, so what do you have for dinner uh galoshes oh i love that <laughs> do you have any bread to go with it <laughs> oh my so yeah oh i hear him already donald i just got here and he's like already freaking out oh he's grumbling too oh well maybe he'll stay down there I don't know where he's at but I saw him run by but I'm not gonna bother to you know go on a search for him so all right hopefully your Wednesday is starting out right um, we're gonna do some trivia question here in a minute which was yesterday is was uh, what did what animal did Emperor Cusco turn into in the Emperor's New Groove? We're going to find that out in a second. I have to get on to the actual comments here because I just changed the page by accident. Let's go to the comments. Um, oh, there's Donald. Oh, of course, as I get to read comments, he's going to come in here and start causing problems. <laughs> All right. So there's nothing uh, new happening in Dreamlight Valley right now. I know we're a few days away. I think three or four days away. What's say The 14th? Yeah. So around the 17th or 18th, you're going to start seeing the quest pop up again for the socks and stitch. So that should be happening around the 18th, the 17th or 18th. Um, and we will be uh, going around collecting the sock. One, uh, The next step is to go to Donald's house and then you'll go to the Forest of Valor and so on and so on. Um, a lot of people already have Stitch uh, because they've time traveled, they've, they've, uh, you know, they've turned their console clocks ahead or their PC clock, which is not a smart move, honestly. It's, you can really mess up your uh, computer or your console that way uh, because, you know, when you start not being able to make uh, payments on, uh, you know, online because your computer is set for a different date. Uh, it, you know, it, it causes issues with everything. So, I mean, the people who do it just to get a stitch or, uh, you know, I guess I suppose if you're a YouTube creator, it means more views because you're one of the first ones to get out there and get, you know, stitch and get all the views. I got stitch, I got stitch. Well, yeah, but you kind of exploited it but you know I you know I like views but I'm not going to exploit a game I'm going to play it the way it's meant to be played and intended by the creators um, I think ex exploitation is just people that are being a little greedy and wanting money 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 and this channel is not about money 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 we're about saving animals and treating people uh, decently so money will never be first on this channel um, so that's that's you know I don't need 
that kind of bother. I just play the game the way it's man, we have fun, and that's all that it's supposed to be doing is having fun and saving dogs and cats and animals in shelters too. So let's not forget that. And you know, dealing with Donald. Here he goes. Yep, I'm here, Donald. I know, I know. Yes, hello. Yeah, if you're saying hello to the snowman, you're you're saying it in the wrong way. You got to turn around a little. You know, he's heading off into the fog. <laughs> All right. So anyway, let's get to the trivia question. The trivia question today was: uh, What animal was Emperor Cusco and the Emperor's new groove turned into by? Uh, what was her name Zima? Eczema, the witch. Uh, she turned him into a llama. He was turned into a llama. Oh, is that a sheep or no, a llama? <laughs> I don't know what that was. I tried to do it a lot. I don't know how, what how a llama sounds like. I just remember um, David Spade. I think he's hilarious. Uh, but he, uh, like, he did the voice of it, and he's like, no, when he was like, you know, crying because he didn't want to be a llama. It was really, it was a really funny movie, and I had a cat. Uh, my cat just passed away in June. Uh, one month after my dog, which was uh, ironic because they were, you know, they grew up together. Um, and her name was Squeaks, and I named her after uh, the conversation from the Emperor's New Groove between Kronk and the squirrel, where he goes, squeak, squeaks, squeak, squeakums, and then, and then the squirrel, you know, uh, like kind of talks back to him. He's like, oh, uh, squeak, 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 squeaks, and then he turns to. You know, uh, the witch, he's like, he doesn't like you. <laughs> I, I thought that was the funniest part of the whole movie. He's like, he doesn't like you. <laughs> uh, and uh, so I named my cat after that conversation. I named her Squeaks. Uh, she was an amazing cat, you know. But uh, do miss her, do miss her. Uh, uh, yeah, so that's, that's where that came from, her name. Um, so anyway, let's see who got the answer right. Uh, we got a, a comment from Karina that says, Great Man Gaming, oh, I haven't seen the movie in a while. I was thinking this morning it was his shoe that he forgot. Oh, she's talking about yesterday's question with uh, what did Peter Pan forget in Wendy's uh, bedroom, which was a shadow. Okay, well, that was close, Karina. I mean, we knew he forgot something, right? <laughs> it's all good. Uh, let's see, uh, we, uh, I appreciate the comment, Karina, thank you very much. Uh, we have one for our, uh, from, uh, Kit Kats for Life. Ooh, Kit Kats for Life AJ. <laughs> I would like Kit Kats for Life, please. Kit Kats for Life says, uh, no, I don't mean you, I mean the candy. <laughs> uh, Kit Kats for Life AJ says, is there a way you can get your value to rain, or is it just random times that it can rain? It's random. Right, yeah, it's it's random weather effects. Uh, yeah, but it happens quite often, so... Thank you for that question, Kit Kats for Life, AJ. Uh, another comment from Karina. Karina says, just adding to Logs Burn comment from yesterday, I agree, it's nice to be part of the community every morning. It feels like good news. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Karina. It's wonderful having you all here, too. I appreciate it. You guys coming in and hanging out with me every morning here on The Daily Show. Did I say The Daily Show today? Oh, I think I forgot it. Oh, man. You know what? I like that line. I like to say it because it's like it is a new show. Anyway, welcome to the Dreamlight Valley Daily Show on the Great Man Gaming Channel. There we go. I had to get it because I started off with the hello there. Boy, everyone's being noisy today. I got it coming from all directions. I got a flu. I got Mickey. I got Donald. Guys. Go have a snow cone or, uh, at Remy's. <laughs> Boy, I'm going to move over here. Over next to my uh, wonderful Yule Goats, my four-sled team of Yule Goats. My, 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 you guys are just ripping today. Look at, I, I, I move and he follows me. Oh, boy, okay. Uh, there, I mean, I don't know if uh, Victoria Sullivan's watching, but... There's Donald. He won't quit today. Uh, Karina says uh, Emperor Cusco is a llama. Turns into a llama. Yes. 
You are correct, Karina. Thank you very much. He does turn into a llama. Uh, James Haynes says, Talking llama, I do believe, for the trivia. Yes, that's exactly right. He does turn into a talking llama. And I have a question. Where did you get the candy cane on your back? Candy cane on my back is from the event. Right? If you go into your event, uh, you go down to your rewards, and you will see the candy cane... I think it's on the last page. I've completed all these. It's right here. There it is. Candy cane staff. There you go. For the rewards. Okay. That's where you get the candy cane, James. Have a great uh, day, my friend. Thank you for your comment and uh, your answer to the trivia question and your question. Uh, Victoria Sullivan. Hey, Victoria. I was just, I was just mentioning you. Because uh, Donald was around having his tantrum, if you were watching. Uh, Victoria says, uh, I figured it out. Uh, figured out, uh, I guess, the problem he had yesterday, you couldn't pick herbs or something, right? Is that what we're talking about? I figured it out. Uh, my niece changed the date on my Switch. Uh-oh, that's not a good sign. Uh, and now everything is messed up. Whatever you do, don't time jump ahead. Yeah, do not do that. People, do, and as I said, the people who do it, you know, they're just trying to get views or whatever. You know, they're just trying to make money before everyone else. Um, so they're time skipping to have the content ahead of everyone, you know. And, uh, you know, you don't do that just to make money. I mean, you know, there's more to life than money, folks. I mean, yes, it's nice to have and, you know, but I tell you what, you know, it, there's more to life. Um, but, and yeah, there's always consequences when you e exploit things, unfortunately. Uh, you know, exploitation, that's why it's called exploitation, you know, cheating. Um, but yeah, don't jump ahead. I think I'm going to have to try and restart the whole game progress. Oh no! That'd be terrible! Huh. Well, I hope you don't have to, Victoria. I mean... I suppose it wouldn't take you that long, but I mean that's a that's a horrible price to pay just for that. Um, but yeah, I hope you get it fixed. Uh, there should be, you might have to just default your switch again, and reset all your settings. Uh, it might not ruin the progress on your game because I think your game is saved server side, so it sh shouldn't try to re try to save your game on an external card you know like a little uh card you put in like a, um, a memory card and and then take that out uh and then reset your uh your switch and that should keep your information for your game if it isn't already corrupted and uh, uh then you can just use that save to start on your computer or on your switch I uh, hope that works for you. It might not because, I, as I said, if you corrupted your information, then it might not work. Boy, I, I, I'm so sorry about that, Victoria. Uh, I hope you get it fixed because we love having you around and we don't want you to go through any problems with your Dreamlight Valley. Thanks for the, uh, for the update, though, Victoria. Sunny Baby commenting on hello there. I, I love saying that. I'm gonna start saying that when I when I don't. It'll look weird if I walk into a store and just walk up to the hello there. They'll be like, "Are you weird?" <laughs> and I'll be like, "Yes, I am." <laughs> uh, Sunny Baby says, "Cusco gets turned into a llama. The poison, the poison for Cusco. I mean, llama transformation poison. Exactly. Yes, Cusco gets turned into a llama by uh, the witch." Uh, <laughs> and Kronk. Kronk's hilarious. Played by, uh, what's his name? Patrick Warburton, the guy that was on, um, Seinfeld. <laughs> Very funny guy. Uh, and he had his own show, too, I think. Uh, his own show with, uh, that had, uh, David Spade in it, which is kind of weird, because they played enemies in, uh, The Emperor's New Groove. What was that show called? It was, it had, uh, David Spade, um... Patrick Warburton had the woman from some other show. I forget her name, too. She was on uh, on the ranch, too, I believe. 
And I forget the name of the show, but it was really funny. Uh, anyway. Uh, Christy Crow says, uh, I cannot find today's video. Uh, found it finally. Oh, really? How, you're having problems finding the videos? That's weird. I try, you know, this is why I don't try to throw up a lot of videos all at one time. I try to spread them out throughout the day because I really want the, you know, the Dreamlight Daily Show to be out there. But I, you know, I've been doing some games, uh, trying some other games, um, you know, just to keep, uh, you know, like the variety up. I mean, there's a lot of people that that like Dreamlight Valley and one of my favorite games and one of the games I'm going to play, 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 play. But there's also people who like Diablo and people who like lego so i try it but then you know i don't want to get eight ten videos every day uh and then have them kind of you know uh, you know all kind of mashed together and people not be able to find things um but usually if you're going to look for my video for the dreamlight valley uh daily show it's going to be probably one of the first videos each day because i i do this first this is the first video I do every new day, uh, usually. Tonight I did one for Hearthstone earlier, but because I, that's because I was playing it at the time. But usually, if, if you're looking for the Dreamlight Valley a daily show, it's going to be at the bottom of the list if I do like a lot of videos because it's the first one I do each morning. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Glad you found it, Christy. I hope you guys don't have problems finding the daily show. I mean, this is uh, this is. This is what I, I do this every day, so I hope you don't have any problems finding it. <clears throat> a question, a quick question: Is the seven-page uh, reward page close for everyone? I cannot get it to open. Uh, seven. I think it only goes as far as that. Yeah, yeah, it's close. Let's see. Let's go to seven. Here we go. So here's six, and seven is. Yeah, it's just if you want to buy. Uh, if, you know, if you want to buy some more of the, the gifts. It's not closed, but you just have to have uh, some of the gifts in order to buy the Moonstones. Uh, got some extra tokens. Yeah, so there you go. There you go. It's not closed, but it's not... You know, if you don't have anything to buy the Moonstones with, or vice versa, it will not show that it's active. Okay, there you go, Christy. Uh, let's see. Christy also says, I am waiting for the planted orb. It is driving me insane. I think I have one more day to wait. Every time I check on it, no water is needed. Oh, right. Yeah, that... <laughs> yeah, that can take a, a while, for sure. I, I remember waiting for that. I was so disappointed when we, uh, when they did this update. And there was nothing that you could, you know, they did the update... And as I said the other day, they added to the game. They didn't. Um, they did. Uh, they added, uh, you know, to the game, but there wasn't anything else to do. They didn't um, upgrade the game, so you know you couldn't move any pillars or open up any new areas or any new houses. It was just, except for the Toy Story houses. But I'm talking about the ones that already exist, like the Pumpkin House and. The skull cave and stuff. So they added to the game, but they didn't upgrade the game. There was nothing really new uh, that you know that you were adding. So in other words, uh, like the pillar in Sunlit a Plateau and the one in Frosted Heights are still there. You weren't able to unlock them yet. And the one um, on the island uh, on Dazzle Beach, uh, right in front of the skull cave. Yeah, they didn't do anything with those, which is kind of I thought they would, but Maybe in the next patch, the next upgrade. Um, NeoJet, hello NeoJet. NeoJet says a llama. What kind of a package deal? Okay, a llama says NeoJet. He's supposed to be dead. I love the Emperor's new groove. Also, go buy peanuts right now and give it to the squirrels. <laughs> yeah, I know that's their favorite food, or they like the food. But uh, yeah, I will. I'll buy them some. Is there any? Let's go see. Everyone keeps telling me to buy peanuts for the squirrels. I haven't fed them yet today. There's no music in here. Right? No music. Let's get let's get four or five. Let's get five. 
Yeah! You know it, Remy. Make a sale, Nights buddy. Night snack. I'm thinking... I can't get out of here. I'm stuck. Roquefort and Figs. Oh, Roquefort and Figs. That sounds like a TV show. <laughs> All right. Your wish is my command. Let's give these guys a... Now they're all gone. There's no one around. I'm going to get rid of that flower, though. I don't like... Yeah, uh, uh. Come on. Move out of the way. Where'd the squirrels go? <laughs> they were just here. Okay, let's get rid of these flowers, then. I guess the squirrels are not going to come around now. Let's go find one, just because... I want to feed them a peanut, because everyone's been at me for the squirrels. Uh, oh, these flowers... They're like weeds. I saw them behind the fence too, mind you. Look at this. All right, let's go find a squirrel. Boy, there's no squirrels to be found now. There's no squirrels. Where'd they all go? But that isn't the weirdest thing. All right, I guess we don't give them any peanuts because there's, they're just not here. Isn't that weird? Oh, boy, I tell you. Anyway, next comment. Well, thank you for that. Have a magical day, NeoJet. If, if a squirrel comes around again, I will give it a peanut. Um, Firefly. Hello, Firefly. Hope you're doing well this morning. Firefly says he turns into a llama. That's right. And says, I love that movie, LOL. It is a very good movie. I think I got the hiccups. <laughs> thank you for the comment and the answer, Firefly. Uh, all right, uh, Logs Burn. Hello, Logs Burn. Happy to see you commenting today, my friend. Uh, he's commenting on how to make French fries, and Logs Burn says, "Good man, Gray. I try. I try. Uh, hope you're enjoying the holiday season. I am loving the holiday season. Loving it. I love the holiday season. You know, anyway. Even if I hated it, I would love it. <laughs> I don't know how that works out, but." Uh, I uh, hope you're enjoying the holiday season uh, and says, um, thanks, bud. One of my last. Hope you're, uh, so he's talking about the, the recipe. Hope you're enjoying the new content. Take care. I'm, I enjoyed it. It's, you know, I'm, there's not much left to do. Now we're just waiting for the 18th, the 17th, 18th for Stitch to come. You know, I'm not going to time jump. Uh, we'll, then we'll do the coffee recipes for the cooking show, the latte, the mocha. And finally, we will do uh, the festive fish, which will bring us... Uh, I think there's already uh, uh, like a duty in your dreamlight activities for the festive fish waiting to be done. Thank you, Logsburn. Hope you are well. My friend Andy says, Happy Wednesday morning, my good friend. Well, thanks, Andy. Happy Wednesday morning. Or no, it won't be Wednesday morning for you. It'll be Wednesday night right now. Because he's in Australia, mate. <laughs> oh, sorry. Only <laughs> I'm not going to start giggling now. Only 6.5 days of work to go, and then I'm on holiday, says Andy. Oh, right on. Yeah, that's right. You go on. Um, we were just kind of talking about this. You're, go you're going on an 18-day holiday. Boy, I tell you, that's nice. Very nice. I mean, uh... 18 days of just, and you guys have like, um, like hot weather right now, like beach weather. Uh, but who's counting? He says, uh, I'm, I'm not answering the trivia question because I have never e even heard of this movie and have definitely never seen it. It'll, I'll look forward to, to tomorrow's trivia question. Well, you might not when I ask it. Um, I'm trying to remember what it was now. I'll have to look again. Is it snowing in there yet? It sure is. It snowed all day yesterday. And we're supposed to get a lot of snow. We have a, what they call a nor'easter coming this weekend on Friday all weekend long. It's hot and humid here at the moment. I don't envy you at all. Sorry, Andy. I do not, I do not envy you at all. Uh, he says it's a, a, a typical Queensland summer day. Uh, and then he, he finishes off. The comment says, talk soon, buddy. Have a wonderful day. Yeah, you too. Have a wonderful e Oh, it's a squirrel. You have a wonderful day too. Squirrel, hello, come here, you. Get over here and let me give you uh, one of these. 
How's that? All right, there we go. Oh, thank you for the shard, my friend. I'm glad you enjoyed that peanut. If I give you two, will you give me anything else? See, so don't talk about being greedy. Don't ever expect ever. Just, just give, give, and don't expect anything in return. Well, thank you, my friend. Your love is all that matters to me. So you gave me a heart. So there you have it. And hearts don't cost anything. Thanks, Andy. Uh, we have another question or comment from Jacqueline Boggs. Hello, Jacqueline. I hope I said your name right. Uh, commenting on how to make uh, a holiday feast plate and cutlery. Oh, no, I heard I hear Donald. Uh, ja <sighs> what is he saying? <laughs> Uh, Jacqueline says, thanks, I don't have a gold ingot, so I wasn't in my recipe now. Uh, it, uh, it oh, it wasn't in, uh, my recipes, and now it is. Still need more clay. Yeah, clay is always one of those things that you just dread going to get. I have to go dig around a pond somewhere. Oh, no. <laughs> thanks for the comment, Jacqueline. I hope you get a lot of clay today. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Pink Rose. Hello, Pink Rose. Commenting on... Oh, this is on Lego Brawls. I started playing Lego Brawls. It's one of those games I've had for a long time, and I just, I, you know, I never even unwrapped it. It was it was still kind of wrapped in the cellophane or the plastic, and I said, today, you know what? I'm going to take it out. It's Christmas. They have a holiday event going on. I love the holidays, and I want the Lego Santa. I want to... I'm going to get it. So I started playing it, and then they asked, you know, if you know if they could have or if they could use my personal information for research and i said uh no click and then it wouldn't connect <laughs> it just it threw me offline and says uh you cannot connect you cannot connect if you watch the video it'll show it as me going what because i wouldn't give them my uh you know my info i can't connect now so i had to turn it i had to end the video and turn it off uh, but it was because it had a pending update that I, you know, that I, uh, I did not see. Because I had just installed the game, like, like, prior to recording the video. And I guess it had a, an update that was pending, and it wouldn't allow me to connect because the, uh, the update hadn't been completed yet. So, I did complete it. I will be doing some more of the Brawl Video 6. I'm going to get that Santa. Mark my word. Thank you, Pink Rose, for the comment on Lego Brawls. Uh, Pink Rose now commenting on Dreamlight Valley uh, on the hello there. Uh, Pink, Ro <laughs> Pink Rose says, good morning. Uh, he turns into a llama. The yes, he does turn into a llama. All right, I want to give you one more peanut because you're just standing there and I just, you're, you're, you know, distracting me. But I do love you still. You're just distracting me. Oh, it's, oh, you're a different squirrel. No wonder. Okay. I'm sorry. I did not mean to, uh be, you know, a little annoyed with you, my friend. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, it turns to a llama. Yes, uh, we just found out that my daughter has COVID. Oh, no. Neojet has COVID? Oh, no. I've had it twice. <laughs> I've had it twice. And it, the first time was, yeah. The second time was, oh. Right. I mean, neither one of them. You know, I mean, I didn't go to the hospital or that, but it was the, you know, like the first time I thought I had a cold, got tested positive. Uh, the second time, which was uh, in November, this past November, last month, I was not feeling well. <laughs> it was, and I, you know, so I tested positive, stayed in for 10 days, and I've been vaccinated, so all, all the way up. I have all my vaccinations. So, no, I'm not going to say whether or not you should or shouldn't. I'm not one of those people. So, you know, whatever your belief is, you go with it. I mean, you know, that's, you know, we all have to, we all have to, like, answer uh, and solve our own problems. Uh, and I don't get into the whole, like, you know, the whole, like, you know, um, vaccine thing. All I was, all that I was told was that you have to have a vaccine if you want to go to certain places. So I had to have the vaccine in order to go to certain places. <laughs> so that's, you know, that's the ins and outs of the whole thing. Uh, but I still got COVID and I, from what I understand, uh, uh, you know, it wasn't as severe as it could have been, but I did feel pretty bad the second time around. Uh, the first time was kind of a cakewalk, but, uh, yeah. 
So, uh, let's see. So, yeah, just found out that my daughter has COVID, and that's so why I'm not sure if we'll, we will be able to play in the recital. So, that's the, what, your violin recital? So far, she's, so far, she seems to be recovering. Oh, I hope so. So, hopefully, she, uh, she'll be well soon. I'm not having any symptoms so far. Oh, I hope you don't. I hope you don't, but, um, yeah, good luck to you both. I'm sorry that, uh, your daughter... Uh, has uh, has COVID. If uh, if that you're talking about NeoJet, I hope you feel better. And if it's if it's your other uh, if you have you know another daughter, well I hope they anyone feels better if they have it. But uh, yeah, so thanks for the update and uh, yeah, get well soon. Uh, Pink Rose has another comment on hello there. I just like stopping and saying that hello there. Uh, Obi Wan Kenobi, hello there. Line is giving me Star Wars feels. I know, right? I was just looking at that. After I got done recording yesterday's uh, video, I went to YouTube, and they have like a video of of you and McGregor where you know all of his hello there's, and there's only like three of them. I thought there were more. I think the actor who did them in the Clone Wars wasn't you and McGregor, so that wouldn't show up. But I did uh, the. Uh, you know, I, I put in the uh, the Ewan McGregor. I think he does it twice. Uh, once in uh, Attack of the Clones, I think, and then second time was in his um, Obi Wan series, and he's like, "Hello there." <laughs> People are gonna get tired of me saying "Hello there." Thanks a lot, uh, Pink Rose. Uh, yeah, it hits me right in the Star Wars feels as well when I right hear Ewan McGregor say that. And last comment is from my friend Andy, uh, co oh, commenting on Diablo Immortal. I just started playing that again tonight. Uh, and Andy says, I played this a little bit on both PC and my iPhone. Yeah, I started playing it on my iPhone when it first came out. And I played as a uh, necromancer. And so today I decided I want, because Diablo 4 is coming out in June, I pre-ordered it. I got, like, the Diablo feeling again. But I didn't want to play Diablo 3 because I have played that to infinity and beyond. See what I did there? Uh, so I decided I would go to the story I haven't completed yet, which is Diablo Immortal, and start that over. And I'm playing a Barbarian, which is uh, which is fun because you can just run in and hit everything and not worry about, you know, almost not worry about dying. Uh, Andy says, I wouldn't mind playing a bit of Diablo 3 with you on the holidays, but I think you said you got to be, yeah, I got a little bit tired of it. Uh, I did too, but might be fun just for an hour or so. And yeah, sure, of course. Definitely. Or you can do Diablo Immortal. I mean, it's free. Free to play. And uh, we can grab a couple of characters and run through. All right, Don, I'll move along. So that is it for the uh, comments. Thank you all for commenting today and I think everyone got the uh, trivia question right. Very good, everyone. Nice. I think so. I think every person got the trivia question right. Everyone knows their Emperor's New Groove. So tomorrow's question, let's see if you know this one, okay, is about Monsters, Inc. What's the slogan for Monsters, Incorporated? What is their company slogan? Okay. That is the question for today what's the slogan for monsters incorporated all right let us go and check out the store for today oh yeah <laughs> that looks like a bell dress in the window doesn't it something that a bell would wear this one right here look at that wow 16 oh it's 16k it's uh 16 000 cannolis that's pretty oh, cheap. Neighbor. Beauty and the Beast. It is, Bell. That's new. I've never seen that. Global floral gown. Oh, I would like to wear that one very much. <laughs> I would like to wear that one very much. All right. If anyone goes and if you donate a blanket, if you don't, if you go to Walmart and pick up a tiny little catnip $3 toy for a cat and a ball for a dog or a bone, chew bone for a dog, I will put this on if you tell me you have gone and dropped off the bone or the catnip toy or a blanket, anything, or a half hour of your time on Saturday. I, I'm going to buy it. <laughs> and, Bye -bye. you know, if you guys put it in the comments, 
you know, I'll, you know, I'll trust you on your word that you have gone down and given a toy for Christmas, a few toys, a toy, one toy, a few toys, some blankets, some dog food, some cat, whatever you want, bring it down to your local shelter or, um, or your time, you know, um, donate your time. Or if you can't get to your, your local shelter, if it's too far away, then uh, send them an Amazon gift for like three bucks, you know, like a, a cat toy or a, a dog bone. If you do that, that dress is on me. Oh, yeah, that's on me. <laughs> I like that dress. <laughs> All right, eight thousand. Greetings, neighbor. Uh, uh, sturdy brown overalls from Cinderella. Woo! I'll tell you, that dress is hot. Thank hot, you, thank I say. Uh, I want to lead a provincial life. You know, whatever that song is. Four nineteen oh, for brown neighbor. oversized glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 2200. I hope someone does do it because I really want to wear that dress. It looks, I bet you that would look amazing. You know, yellow brings out my green eyes. Uh, I, I've got green eyes. I'm, I think I'm one of the only, like, Italian men that have green eyes. I think there's a few I've seen, but I'm one of the few. Uh, everyone, in, everyone, it's kind of weird because everyone in my family, my dad, my mom, my sister, uh, you know, my brother, all have brown eyes. I'm the only one. Uh, in my family, even my grandparents all had brown eyes. I'm the only one in my very Italian family that has green eyes. And, you know, my dad always used to say, uh, see what color the mailman's eyes are. I was like, ah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> or was it the milkman back then? Uh, who knows? Uh, trusty brown satchel from Tangled. <laughs> Bye-bye now. 6,000 for the green pearls of freedom necklace from Cinderella. I don't think we've ever seen those before, green pearls of freedom. Thank you kindly. Those are nice. I don't think we've seen these either. Greetings, neighbor. Beauty and the Beast, intricate gold floor. Those go with that dress. Oh, you know what? Sold. <laughs> those go with perfect. Oh, I would look great in Goodbye those now. heels. Toodaloo. You guys got work to do. If you want to see that, I would. Oh, I would look so nice. Black skinny jeans <laughs> for three ninety. Okay. Eight thousand for the green claw top. Uh, excuse me, Scrooge. Can you not talk when I'm trying to uh, trying to do a show? Bye bye. Forty. Forty eight hundred. Beauty and the Boy, it's a Beauty and the... I'm telling you, Beauty and the Beast is going to be the next update. Look at all this stuff. Brown rose embroidered shirt from Beauty and the Beast. I'd like to see the front of that. Is that for... I'd like to see the front of that. Again, please. Brown rose embroidered shirt for... from Beauty and the Beast. I kind of... I kind of like that shirt. Brown rose embroidered. Um... Okay. Oh! You sold it. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Twelve hundred for sink and mirror from Ratatouille. That's new. Never seen that before. Ugh. Thank you kindly. Oh, navy blue armchair for three sixty. No affiliation whatsoever. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Gaston's greetings, neighbor. Antler chair, Beauty and the Beast. I have that already. I'm, I Thank swear, you, Beauty and the Beast is going to be next. I mean, it is. Oh, uh, Monsters, neighbor. Inc. Dorm Window. That's new. Very new. Bye -bye. This is from Monsters, Inc. This has been here Good before. Idea. Little Mikey plush toy from Monsters, Inc. Ah. Okay. Thank you kindly. 1,000 for the neighbor. rounded frame for four. Mickey and friend. I have a, I have a very... Bad habit of saying fur, 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 four, Mickey and Friends. Aww, yeah. I have to get out of that habit. All right, here we go. Eight ten, oh, yeah. a vintage phone for eight hundred and ten cannolis. <laughs> All right, three hundred and six 
for the for the quirky table lamp. I'm telling you, it's a habit. It's just lazy speaking. I have lazy speaking. 1725 for concrete double bed. Ooh. I don't want to sleep on a concrete bed. Thank you very much. Bye-bye now. 4,000 for the green parasol and blue towel from Lilo and Stitch. I almost said Lilo. And... Oh, I just bought that. What is wrong with me? Fast fingers or something. 4,800 for charter rug. Thank you. Anything on the ceiling? Nothing on the ceiling. Okay. And we have this 8,800 cannoli long dining table from Frozen. That's very nice. I kind of like that. Aww. Yeah. Bye bye. And that is it for the Scrooge's daily inventory. Let's go outside. Finish up our daily show for today. Hopefully, everyone can find it. <laughs> if you're having trouble finding the show, just it should be in your notifications. Turn on your notifications. You'll probably get all my videos that come. I try to not to put up a lot of them because. I don't want to just like flood people with videos, but I do do a lot of games and uh, I like to have them, you know, at least some of the games once a week. I haven't gotten back to Baldur's Gate yet, which I really love that game. I just haven't had time and I, and you know, I've been trying to pick up these other games, uh, the Lego Brawls and, uh, and like uh, Diablo for a while now. Because people keep on like asking me to play other games and I'm trying to get these other ones out of the way first. I have like this... This like a um, backlog of games that I haven't played, and I'm trying to get them out and play them, and then work through them. So that is what's happening. I will be playing some Lego Brawls probably in a few minutes after this video is done, and then um, so look for this video. Oh, you know, if I mean, if you can't find this video, you're probably not going to be able to to hear me say how to find this video. <laughs> so that's kind of a big. Uh, Catch-22 going on there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so, I mean, um, uh, hopefully, you know, you won't have an issue with that anymore, Christy. It's, uh, it's you know, it's there every morning for sure. Uh, anyway, I hope you all have a magical day. Take some of that magic that is filled within you and spread it around to everyone this in your environment, in your life, your <laughs> friends, your family your pets, the people that you run into every day at the store, at the gas station, at work, at school. You know, make sure, and I'm, I'm listening to Donald over there and seeing how far away he is. Make sure and tell them to have a magical day, at least one person. You know, just aim for, uh, you know, one goal. Aim for one person a day. Have a magical day. You know, it'll brighten their day. It'll brighten your day. And that, my friends, is how we change the world. I will see you all tomorrow morning. Have Need anything from the market? a Just magical middle of the week. I'll see you then tomorrow.